Uh, one thing on this, uh, we do have Bluetooth capability uh, with the remote display on the 2000 watt Pro, 3000 watt Pro that comes with the camper. If you get a standard 2000, you don't get the Bluetooth remote uh, display, but you can actually upgrade to that if you choose to. To do uh, Bluetooth connection, you just simply press the escape button and hold it until the two little lines there start to flash. Then you would pull the app up on your phone. When you pull that app up on your phone, it'll search uh, and find it. Then you just simply connect and you could go through all the settings on your phone. Once you have the remote display set up for Bluetooth, you would simply go in to your Xantrax FXC control. Now on the screen, it'll start to load up and search for your remote display. Usually takes just a few seconds. Once the ID comes up, you just simply select it. And then it's immediately going to come up and kind of show a display just like it does on the remote. Uh, we're hooked to grid power. It's coming into that XC Pro 3000, which is then supplying power out to the camper and down into the battery as well. Now, if you want to go into the settings, you would just press the settings button on the lower bottom right corner. Then it's going to go in. The first section is just your inverter section. Now, all of these, again, are dependent on the type of batteries you have in the camper. The low battery cutoff at 10.5 volts is typical for AGM or 12 volt batteries. For lithium, those would be set differently. The Lithionics recommends going to 12.1 volts for the low battery shutoff. Now, on the low battery cutoff delay timer, uh, typically 10 seconds uh, is what the lithium is going to recommend. Uh, you can have a higher setting for your AGM. However, we recommend just go ahead and do 10 seconds on all of them. The low battery recovery voltage we are recommending at 13.1 volts. The power save time, we actually recommend setting that to off. Most of the other settings are going to be the default settings on the inverter. Once you get down to the charger, um, one of the settings we do want to look at is your battery type. That's going to be set based on the type of batteries you have. The charger current is going to also be set based on the batteries, and it's important to make sure that those settings are accurate. The next few things is the grid setting. We do want to make sure that the breaker rating is changed to 25 amps. Um, that's based on the breaker size in our uh, panel for the inverter. Um, the grid setting at 90 volts is just the standard default. Everything else should be pretty much uh, default settings. Uh, but once you're done, it's as simple as that. Uh, and then you can just go back to your main status uh, or go ahead and get out of the app altogether.